Hello, and welcome back to Card City Nights 2. I think we're done in the restaurant. I don't think there's anything left to do, no coins to find, no people to battle. So I think we can just use the map and travel the world of Card City Nights 2. But of course I'm gonna do one thing first. Just to check. No, nothing. I thought maybe once you've been out in the restaurant and then you go back in the freezer, someone would like spookily be here or something like that. But no, let's check the map. So here's the, the spaceship. It's quite a literal spaceship. Huh, even got a lighthouse. Fancy. Can I click for coins and stuff here? Probably not. Doesn't seem like it. Science lab, I wonder if that's where you craft cards, just like in Card City Nights 1. Alright, and this is the only location we, we've we been to, and this is the only location we have to go to, so let's go here. The Giga Mall. This place is pretty big. Now where's that gatekeeper guy? Alright, buy it all and go to sleep. Consume... Wait, hold on, let's check. Consume, consume, consume. Card scammer. Stardust. Buy cards now. Spend the money. Space. Enjoy space. We'll trade food for cards. Gold coins are your life. Buy cards. Consume to get happy. Buy or die. Oxygen and life. Yep, yeah, lots of buy, buy, buy. But no actual good advertisement. Just telling you to buy. Potion something. Alright, let's click for coins. There's one. I wonder if that's an actual voice? Is that one of the Ludosity people making a oop sound? Or is it just synthetic? Really? Nothing on his, like, arrow nose? Come on. I bet there's gonna be at least one area with random background chatter that's just the Ludosity guys. There's a bunch of card sleeves stuck behind the sign. Lay layabout. I haven't talked to you yet, so you shouldn't talk to me, but that's fine. Hey, nice find. Those sleeves are a secret prize for people who climb up the sides of buildings and rummage around behind their signs. Never heard of that kind of prize before? That's because it's secret. It'll do too. Cool. Sure, let's equip the it'll do too card back. There we go. Why not? Oh, and another one, set of cards. The biggest fan, he's non-conductive. Placement, activate this card. So that's, it's sort of similar to the gnome. Hold on, let me check the gnome. Let me compare the two. The gnome, garden gnome has only three ticks. So that's kind of the deal with that, I suppose. This guy seems kind of useless at, at first glance, but number one, it's, I'm pretty sure the order it goes in is that you place it, it makes the chain, it activates... Yeah, I guess it would... Hmm, I wonder, would it activate this card, then activate other cards attached to it, even if it was just one card attached to it, and then it would remove the arrows? I think there was something about the order of things, like how it goes down in the help menu, or maybe I even read it before in the tutorial thing, I can't remember. But I wonder how that works, because, uh, yeah, you can at least, at the very least, if you have one card here, one card here, you can place him in the middle, he'll activate the two cards and then take down for six turns in, in the middle being useless, pretty much. But, of course, as we learned, was it last time or the time before, you can silence non-conductive cards and then he would be a, an eight-directional card that can link up to anything and is activated instantly and has six ticks before he disappears. So that actually doesn't sound too bad if you have a couple of silences in your deck. I think the one silence I have is probably not really strong enough to build around this whole thing, like including more than one of these guys, so I'm just gonna stick with the gnomes for now, but that's interesting to note in the future or for the future if I want to try to do a bunch of, like, non-conductive stuff with silences and silencing my own cards. Could be cool. Alright, continue clicking. There's one. I can't remember exactly, there's one. 
what I have and haven't clicked. I think I've clicked most of the things that I can see. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I clicked all these people. And down here. Yeah, I think that's good. Maybe, maybe not. Let's go through one by one, I suppose. Vending machine. Insert all your credits to get all the things. I have everything you could ever need. Looking for endangered animals, I've got all of them. Can't decide what to buy, just press all the buttons. The secret to the card game is to win all the battles. If you drink all the sodas, you might as well eat all the snacks too. I have all the flavors, I have all the brands. What does it even say on him? Strawberry jam, flavorful fruit friends. That sounds pretty good. Oh god, nice keyboard. That's pretty good. And of course, fucking Swedish characters as well, or letters. Out of emergency underwear, I've got you covered. Is it use though? Insert all your credits. Yep, there we go. Okay, so here's where we can buy stuff. Welcome, here are the boosters I'm selling. Floppy, fluffy, not floppy. I would like a floppy booster. Um... Do I want to do that though? I don't know what else I can use gold for. Maybe like you can get the uh, the card or uh, the deck. What, what, what is that called again? The boards, the different boards from Card City Nights 1. So I'll hold off on that for now. If I do this again, it's still the same one. So I guess if he had more than one fluffy or more than the fluffy boosters, it would be lined up here and you would just choose which one you want, maybe. But yeah, we'll leave that for now. Newsy cat. What does that even mean? That she's gossipy in a way or just tells news a lot? No clue. Hey there, you're new. What's your name? Schlag? Sorry, just curious. I have to know everything about everyone. Speaking of, I've got the latest news about everyone on the ship. So come back whenever you want the dirt. Yahaha. You found me. Cashier comes off as grumpy, but she's just too- Oh god, it's the fucking crystal. Well, strap in everyone. This is the crystal of Card City Nights 2, I suppose. She's got the information on everyone. At least this time I'm not doing some crazy annoying voice, so that's a plus. Okay, let's do it. I, I'm assuming, at least. But she's just too lazy to bother with courtesies. Informant's pet space bun is not allowed on the ship, but no one dares to get close to him. We all know what happened the last time someone tried. Wait, that's the same? Like, that's the bleep bloop blep guy? Huh. Okay, that didn't even look like him. Did it? I guess it's a caricature of sorts. I'm pals with informants, and let me tell you, there's more to her than meets the eye. At least, I think so. She's hard to read sometimes. Just between you and me, Layabout, Layabout reminds me of the lead singer of Bun Zone. He's so adorable, I can't help it. That was a guy? I didn't even realize. Sorry, that's all the guy- Really? The gossip I have for now, I've got for now. If you want some more, come back when you've advanced another rank, okay? So that's what they did to spare the hearts and minds of all the people in all the lands? They, they split it up into ranks, so you only get a certain number of gossip segments every time you rank up, instead of doing everything in one go, like hundreds of lines or whatever it was. I mean, I guess that's okay. I honestly wouldn't have minded just reading through everything, but maybe they have tips or information about characters that I haven't met yet, so I guess that makes sense. Like, we'll advance here, get to a new area, meet new characters and then come back to the the gossipy girl and she'll tell us about the new characters or something like that. So that makes sense. Okay, this guy. Layabout. Yo, here to battle? Uh... Am I? I mean, I, I am, but that makes me want to say no. Maybe I'm just here to shop. Let's say no. You sure? I'm this week's F-tier gatekeeper, so newbies ask me for matches all the time. And you look like a newbie to me. So anyway, let's get get this over with. Just ask me for a match, all formal-like and stuff. 
So it doesn't matter what you say, I suppose. I'm not much into the card game, but I can give you some pointers. Can't guarantee it'll help you win, though. The card game is all about keeping up the flow. Try to place your cards so they connect to an already charged card. Yeah, I, I was making mistakes like that a lot uh, last time. Just like, I didn't account for the fact that a card had like one tick left, and then I could have just placed the card knowing that that card would have disappeared next round, and then I could have connected where that card was and stuff like that. But yeah, I'll probably get into it more and more. Try to place your cards, I think I read that, yep. If you see a card with some rules you don't understand, just take a closer look at it to see an explanation of terminology. The arrows on spy cards have their colors switched, so they'll connect to your opponent's cards. Oh, that's interesting. The card and its effects are still yours, though. Huh. I wonder how that works, then. So, you connect to your opponent cards, or opponent's cards, and if you connect to a chain of two, then you activate the entire chain, including the spy, but also activating the cards for your opponent. Correct? Maybe? I mean, we'll see when we get to them, I guess. You can increase your defense above its starting value, but it'll drop back down once it's your turn again. I'm sure there are some situations where this could be helpful. I'm sure there are. If you think the card game looks like looks a little intimidating, just stick to cards that attack and heal. You'll get the hang of the more advanced ones eventually. Yeah, that's pretty much what I'm doing for right now, mainly. Though I am just sticking in random cards and trying them out as well. Block your opponent's arrows at every opportunity, as long as it doesn't hinder your own strategy. Yep. Newsy Cat said I look like the lead singer of Bun Zone. She did! I'm not into boys band, or boy bands, but I guess that's a compliment? He seems happy about it. I'm not much into the card game. Yeah, there we go. And this, I think this is a character from Card City Nights 1? Or is it from It'll Do? Or... I can't remember, but this character seems familiar. I've seen him, her, somewhere. Hey there, how about some extra dimensional card sleeves? I doubt a commoner like you would recognize me, but I'm actually an emperor from another dimension. My... my, uh, people overthrew me for some reason. Do I know this character? I feel like I know this character, but I can't put my finger on it. So, yeah. Here I'm trying to get the get better at the card game so I can defeat the Dread Dark Lord Master Skeleton, who led the revolution and stole my throne. I'm looking for some real powerful opponents here, you dig? I'll even give you a unique set of card sleeves from, uh, my extra-dimensional empire if you win, yeah? Uh, I see, so I can fight this person, sure? This place is big, I'll just stay here where all the tasty food is. In my home dimension, it's against the law to ever stop jumping. I don't know why I wrote that law, but ask the Emperor, I'm totally the one who did it. The thing around my neck is a magical artifact. It's a piece of hard candy that never runs out. That sounds pretty nice. Bad for your teeth, though. I just noticed that girl over there. I guess even this dimension has people who are forced to wear embarrassing clothes or clothing with pictures of their relatives. Did she do that? Oh, is that... Her relative? Huh. I thought it was just like the, the Bun Zone singer or something like that. This ship doesn't have any hidden spears that launch out of the walls, does it? That always makes things more exciting. That's probably a reference to the game this guy is from. Girl, guy. Man, it's tough being the Emperor. I guess it's a guy because Emperor, not Empress. I always have to think of ways to keep losers from falling off the floating platforms into other, other dimensions. I had a friend once who wanted to become an arcade machine. I haven't seen him since he fell through a dimensional portal. That's probably also a reference to something. Where you meet an arcade machine somewhere and it talks to you or... I don't even know. As I said, my ludosity lore is pretty rusty. This is the Imperial Hoodie, made in the image of a sacred animal. It's what it said on the label when I, uh, acquired it. That's like a... Oh, what are those called again? Like bunnies, rabbi, it's not a rabbi, not even a priest. This place is pretty big. I'll just stay here where all the tasty food is. There we go. All right. So that should be all the, the reading for now. 
and yeah, I guess we'll just battle this guy and see if he's super hard or something. Wanna give this a try? It won't be easy, and all you'll win is a set of card sleeves. Deal? Deal. Aha, just sign right here and let the battle begin. Alright, sure, let's see. Did I just sign something? So if I lose, I'm gonna lose something? I don't even know. We'll see. Do that to start. Oh, I've heard this song. Yeah, I've definitely heard this song. I think they played it in the uh, Meanwhile in Ludo City podcast, maybe. So, let's see. Ultra Fish Bungeon 3000. Oh my god. Non-conductive. Resolve, deal 4 damage. I see. When active and you play a common card, take this card. Alright, I get how that works. Hmm. He eats chumps for breakfast from It'll Do. So... I have this card. And I should be able to make this into a chain. Yeah, I can just stick this here. This should be fine if I just let him make a chain from this. Because I can just silence this card, which I think I probably want to do, because that's a lot of damage. So let's do that. So then Jenny Fox will disappear. Yeah, now this starts ticking. Non-conductive, resolve, deal 4 damage. Oh man, I see. So there's another one like that. I wonder which one is actually the worst one. Hmm. Too bad I don't have more silences, but yeah, I'm gonna do that for now. Placement Cage an Active Card. What the heck does that mean? Cage removes the arrows on the card. I see. So that's like the, the counterpart to Silence. Silence removes the effects. Cage removes the key or uh, the arrows. Interesting. Okay. Instantly freezes pushable locks, people, pizza, etc. Okay. That's still gonna go off though, so that's fine. Unfortunately, now I can't connect anything, so that's a bit of a shame. I have to like start a new, new chain now. I could switch hands with him. Um, well, I can't really switch hands because I can't connect three cards. I guess I'll just do like that, just to block one of the arrows, just in case. Nope, that did not help at all. But yeah, two damage and then I can silence whichever one I want. But which one do I want to silence, I wonder? I probably want to silence this one. I'm gonna do that. And now... Hmm... I think I just want to block to keep him from doing anything, because... I don't really even have any ways to make any interesting combos or anything, so... Oh, that's a problem. Forgot that this is like... Did this one have any arrows? Yeah, it does have arrows. Okay, so it wouldn't really have mattered either way. Wait, oh, that's... Wait, huh? I'm scrolling right now. I'm using the scroll wheel. I don't know how I opened this one when I scrolled, like, up here. That was odd. Um... If I place, like, this here, that doesn't really do much. Huh. I think I'll just do... No, that's a waste. God damn. Okay, I'm just gonna do this, and then we'll see what happens. This is probably terrible. Okay. Oh god. Um... I'm just gonna do my own thing for right now. I don't feel like I can actually stop anything that he's doing. So... Hmm...
What do I want to do here? Just to get some earlier damage, like get the damage a bit quicker, I can do that. I have a plan here, but it's... Oh, right, that switches my fucking cards around. I... or the hand. I kind of forgot. Oh, it switched back. What? Wait, why did it switch back? What just happened? I have no idea what just happened, but that's fine, I suppose. So now, if I activate... Yeah, I guess it doesn't really matter in the end, but let's activate this one. Like that, and then we place this one here. Like, I would have activated it anyway. Yeah, I guess that actually did nothing, so completely pointless, but... I'm in the lead for right now. Not that that means too much. Yeah, I'm doing pretty poorly, because now I can't connect anything to anything. So the only thing I can do is try to, like, block. But even that is pretty mediocre. Hmm. Yeah, I'm probably, probably dead here. Bird arrow. A bird in the bow is better than ten in the woods. Well, I did a lot of damage, but I don't think I can actually connect anything quick enough to not die. No, I can't. This is gonna tick down, and I'm dead. Damn. First loss, I suppose. Yeah. Can't even connect anything to anything. Huh. Well, that's a shame. Oh, you have more than one attempt this time. Ah, I see. Right here. It's a best of three. I didn't even register that. Okay. Oh, boy. Um. Yeah, I feel like there's no point trying to block arrows right now, because... Oh, if I block here, then... I bet the the computer has something. I mean, he can yeah, he can do pretty much anything he wants. So, blocking doesn't make any sense now. I think I should just focus on making my own my own chains. All right. I'm going to try something here. This is probably not going to work very well. Yeah, I fucking knew it! He knew what I was up to! God damn it, that's so annoying. Yeah, I guess they coded the AI well. It's like... Of course he would try to block as many places as possible. Fuck. Yeah, now I can't do anything, really. I was gonna, like, make a whole thing and then place the gnome in the middle, but... Nope, that didn't happen. Is that even good? Uh... I think I'll just do that. Oh boy. I'm pretty much just on a timer now. If these tick down, I'm dead. But I'm probably dead before then, so... I'm just gonna keep trying to do tiny bits of damage. Yeah, I don't think I can out-damage him. Um, can't even really do much here, like, this is the end of the line for me, can't do any more chains. God, this guy is, either this guy is good, like, he's supposed to be a bit harder than what you're supposed to be able to handle, or I'm just fucking terrible, which is very possible too. Oh man, I just don't know, like, what I can do with the deck I have currently, it just, I don't have anything 
to do anything with. Plus I place like the worst card, but I don't think it really matters. Yeah, pretty sure I just lost. Yep. Crash and burn, buddy! This is why I'm the Emperor. Maybe not here, but in my home dimension that you've never heard of. Yeah, that was, uh, that was rough. I guess I'll just end it here, and then next time, I'll try him one more time, just to see if I got really unlucky, but it doesn't seem like it. I think I probably just need to get better cards and stuff. Maybe I should buy some card packs from the vending machine and just, like, stick some random things in and do that, but I don't know. It's like, the only thing I have are cards that do one damage after, like, one to three turns, and that's not really enough most of the time, at least not against that guy. Like, that type of deck seems very strong. Sort of seems like the type of deck I would make, but yeah. We'll leave it there for today, and try again next time. Otherwise, I'll just see if I can advance in rank and progress onward, and then maybe rematch him later on, because it is just for a card sleeves thing. So, hope you enjoyed the episode, thank you for watching, excuse my disgraceful defeat, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!